Okay. Uh, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Rupab Javed, and I'm uh, talking from uh, Prospects Consulting. And uh, as you know, that we are having a live session about uh, Gizmai uh, Business School today. Uh, we have specially uh, arranged this session for you people so that uh, you can learn about this university, about its uh, requirement, and about the courses they are offering. Uh, first of all, let me tell you about the university. Its name is Gizma Business School, and it is a very good university in uh, Germany that is uh, located in Berlin, and it has a beautiful campus, and it's a school that uh, teaches us uh, courses related to business studies, like uh, we have accounting and finance, business administration, MBA, marketing. These kind of courses are offered in this university. And apart from that, it offers a very high quality of education to international and both uh, national students. And so uh, we have our very special guest today, who is Miss Evie with us. And uh, she hello. is uh, Miss Evie. Hello. 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 Hi, everybody. And hello, hello viewers. Okay. How are you doing today? I'm great. I'm great. I'm, it's, it's, I'm really excited to do this session with you guys. Um, especially Prospect Consulting is a very important partner for Gizma Business School. Okay. Thank you very much for that. And could you just tell me that uh, how is the situation going on in Germany these days? Like what's the lockdown situation? Well, um, the German government started to ease down the lockdown. Um, mm -hmm. They actually started opening some of the major um, establishment like the museums. People yeah. are still doing the normal stuff. They go to the parks. It's almost the same like in Pakistan, like even though there are a little bit of strictness and there are the full teams, but they are still opening up. Um, the whole plan of Germany is to start opening up by mid of June. So hopefully everything will go normal by mid of June. As for Gizma, uh, we are facilitating all the students for April, June, and July intake on online, on mm -hmm. online studies. Then um, once the travel ban in Pakistan will be open or globally it will be open, then the student can finish their course um, on campus with us. So they can start like one semester probably online, and then they can can travel by September and do the on campus uh, studies with us. Okay. Okay, Evie, uh, just give your main introduction to our audience. That what's yes. your role in uh, Gizma Business School and what do you do there? Uh, just tell them about yourself. Yeah, um, I'm a senior business development manager for Pakistan and Afghanistan market. Um, I, my main responsibility is to facilitate all the the ongoing issues of the agents in these two regions. Um, we also, I also facilitate the admission process of direct application, uh, mm -hmm. but not everything. Um, so mostly it's the coordination between the agencies and our top agent partners and between Gizma we are doing that. That is the main responsibility that I'm having. Yes. So for those of the direct application, it usually passed to the other team, which is our direct sales team. Okay, great. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So I think we should start with the session. Uh, we can start with the first question, like uh, many, uh, what do you suggest? Like, what is your point of view? That why should uh, students go to Germany for their studies? Yes, um, there are a lot of factors that they can really consider going to Germany. One is one of them is that Germany is the fourth when it comes to the economic stand, standing in the world. Um, it has a very striving economy. A lot of offshore companies starting to open up. Major industries are based in Germany. So um, German people are quite welcoming. They are warm. Maybe most, well, they are the kind of people that, you know, the Western European people that love so much their culture, I love their language, language so much. So I think for an immigrant to study or to live in Germany is very important. It's crucial to learn the culture and to learn the language. Because once you are able to do that, um, it is easy, easy transition for, all, for, for you. The, the German people will be like very welcoming to you. And um, it's the education, the quality of education, of course. Um, 
private and public universities in Germany are being um, regularized or by, by the states. So um, they, they remain their quality of education, their status, their ranking in the world remains so high. Um, most of the programs, especially in masters, are research based. Uh, like our curriculum at this point is also research based. So um, that is one of the things that makes the student quite independent and learn by themselves just because of the research program that each universities are providing. And um, most importantly is the 18 months job seeker visa after the graduate. I think that is the most, most important thing that to have an option of settlements after you graduate. Okay, I think this is a very great point that uh, I think we should stay, uh, share with our students as well. So they will be like more interested in uh, going to Germany now. Exactly. <laughs> well, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice country. I mean, like yes, the weather yes. they are, it's getting warm during the summer and it's cold. It's not really that cool when it comes to uh, winter time. So, uh, and the, the main thing is that there are huge population of, of Muslim people as well. It's not only the Pakistanis, there are a lot of Turkish and um, the Russian states, the Muslim Russian states are also um, growing, uh, growing in, in population in Germany. So yeah, a lot of halal food is available as well. Okay, great. Okay, uh, okay. Moving on to the next question, uh, ma'am. Why do you suggest that uh, students should do, go and study in Gizma Business School? Like, what's your point of view about it? Yeah, for for Gizma, uh, I think the most important factor that they have to consider is the locality of our of our campuses. So we have three campuses. Uh, our main campus is in Hannover, which is the industrial zone of Germany. It is known as the greenest city of Germany. Um, it is it is housing most of the exposed job fairs and industries in, in Germany. So it's a great destination for the student to study. And then we've got Berlin, which almost all of our programs are being offered in Berlin. As you know, Berlin is the offshore capital of Europe, of um, so there are a lot of job opportunities for students, either part-time or full-time job opportunities. And it's also a very cheap cost of living as well. And then uh, we have a campus in Hamburg. Um, everybody knows about Hamburg. It's a musical and cultural capital of Germany. And it's, it's the city that never rests so far. So I think that is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Second thing is all our programs that are being promoted in Pakistan and in Afghanistan, and as well as in Middle Eastern viewers that we have, it is taught in English. So um, Gizma is having professors coming from France and um, coming from Britain. So most of them deliver their courses in English. Um, there won't be any language barrier for the students um, uh, yet. And I think this is the, the most difficult thing that most of international students are suffering in if they are going to study in public university is the language barrier because once there is a german professor they started to deliver the courses in in german which is quite difficult difficult for uh, for international students and then yes and thirdly is that um is the art exemption that we have so um the students can apply for for our courses um using their English proficiency letter. So um, they don't need to waste their time and money in doing eyes. They can apply directly to Gitma using their, their uh, English waiver letter. And uh, thirdly, uh, fourthly is the affordable, uh, we do have a very affordable fee. Um, we are offering a discount or a scholarship 20% if the students will register under prospect of prospect consulting so they can avail the 20% discount. Um, we have a special promo for the scholarship that um, they can avail until 32% scholarship if they pay their deposit um, until 31st of May. I know it, we do have a short time for that, but um, there are plenty of students already because we have already established our branding in Pakistan and Afghanistan. So um, the students can avail until 32%. And the most important 
factor that we have to consider for me as well. If I'm looking for um, a university or um, a study abroad destination, I'll be looking for a university that have a good student support services. So Gizma, Gizma itself, we have a fabulous, wonderful people working in, in our student support. Uh, we, we organize career fair every quarterly. We do have industrial tours for weekly. We have the students in. Uh, we, we open up tours for opportunities, part-time and full-time jobs. We prepare our students for interview and prepare their CV as well. That, is, that will be acceptable uh, by, by the employers. And most importantly is that we provide free German language um, in where the student can save almost like 2,500 years. Um, they can avail our beginner's, lang uh, beginner's module of German language uh, free of cost. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for the like detailed information about Gizma Business School. Okay, so we can just move on to the next question. Uh, that is like, what's the COVID-19 situation in uh, Germany these days? Like, are the admissions open and are the students going to get the visa? And are they going to study on campus or not in the coming days? Yeah, yes, uh, we do We do accept application for, for July and September intake. But so far, April intake is an online module for us just because of the COVID situation. And the June and July intake will be online as well because I don't think that the global travel ban will be lifted anytime soon. Um, most of the time, the, 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 the plan, the plan of, of, of European countries will be opening its border on 15th of June or 15th of, of June. So. Our September intake will be almost like 99% going to be on campus, hopefully. Oh, okay. Okay, let's but hope we for the best. Accept, uh, yes, but we do accept application for September now. Okay, okay. So how many intakes are there in uh, Gizma Business School? Like yes, we, we have four intakes. Uh, four we have, intakes. Yes, we have January intake. Um, we do have our April intake. Then we have the July intake, and then we have September or October intake. And those students, sometimes, those students who are not able to join um, our September or October intake, we got a fill-in intake in November. Um, as you know, Rebob, we have almost like 40 nationalities studying at this month. So it's very important as well to consider about the, you know, the struggle and the complexity of, of the, of, um, of the visa process, so we try to to accommodate as much as, as much as of the requirements of the embassies as well. Okay, okay. I have a question. Uh, that could you just tell me that uh, what kind of courses is uh, Gizma offering? Like, are there only business uh, related uh, subjects, or are they offering some other kind of subjects also, like some oh. any uh, field related to engineering or IT, these kind of subjects? Yes, um, our direct programs, which is our UG and PG, are mostly focused on business. We have different kinds of uh, specialty in business, like finance, marketing, HR. Um, uh, we have business administration as well. Uh, we got strategic business management, and we got an IT program. But this is a solo program, which is a cybersecurity and data governance, which is the most in-demand profession right now in in Germany. And yeah, maybe anytime soon we'll start opening up as well other programs such as engineering management or healthcare management. Who knows? But we are very much welcoming in that. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay, ma'am. Uh, just tell me something about the uh, city campus life and facilities available in, at uh, Gizma. So uh, that, yeah. Uh, I, I will be more focusing about our campus in Berlin because this is, I think, it's the famous destination for, for Pakistani students. So uh, Berlin campus is situated in the South Trust, which is one of the most expensive locality in Germany or even in Europe. So um, the South Trust is a very posh place. Um, we have a huge campus. Um, you know, sports activities are being done. Um, this hour also is the place where there are a lot of bars and clubs. So um, it's a very diverse and active 
uh, social life of our students. Uh, we do have a lot of clubs as well, um, like campus clubs. Uh, uh, we do facilitate students who are freelancing students um, that wants to start their own offshore companies. So we facilitate them on campus. So they, we have a lot of facilities for them. Yeah. Okay, great, great. Okay, uh, okay so uh, we have like discussed this uh, thing that uh, what we, uh, how many intakes are available in uh, Gizma. Okay, so what's the admission criteria for applying? Like, can you just tell us uh, the... That our, our comment is uh, we have almost catering everybody. Um, we have different kinds of criteria. If we say it's about grades, we can cater the students having the grades with 2.60 GPA. Uh, but then we do accept a well mature student until the age of 55 years old. So what we do is that they are applying under non-standard application. So um, what they, they, they need to provide a proof of their employment that what they have been doing during their study gap. So um, it's actually open for everybody. It's either you are academic, or you, you can apply based on your academic or you can apply based on your experience. Even though your grades are not that high as 2.6, then you can apply as a non-standard application um, showing your work experience. Mm -hmm. So everybody can apply, yeah. Okay, uh, now I just want to ask something that uh, for like, if someone wants to apply for bachelors, then uh, how much marks does he or she need to apply? Like minimum requirement, how much is that? Yes, our requirement is uh, we cannot apply. Uh, if you have completed your intermediate, you are not qualified mm -hmm. to apply. Um, A levels is acceptable to us, so we need the three um, a level grades of C minimum, um, or the student must have four years. Sorry, uh, fourteen years of of study. So it means they have ordinary degree, like like BCom, two years or BA or BSc after their intermediate. Uh, we cannot accept applicants having a DAE because a diploma is not acceptable in Germany, not at all. Okay. Okay. So, so that DAE is, is not acceptable. Degree. Okay. Okay, in nope. Germany it's not okay. Yes. Okay. So if someone has done intermediate from uh, like Pakistan and uh, he has like sixty percent marks, so he's good to uh, go. He can apply. Yes, he can apply not for our undergrad, but they can apply for university pathway program, which uh, they have to study for forty to forty-eight weeks of German language plus uh, foundation program with us. And then after completion of that, we will place them in our partner public university to study student college. Student mm -hmm. college is basically the foundation year that they are going to study in public university. And that is a tuition fee waived. So it means it's zero tuition fee. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. But and the what, uh, have to. Okay. And what about master students? Like, uh, oh my God. how much marks or CGPA do they need to apply? Um, the, the for the masters we need two point six CGPA. Okay, two point six CGPA and yeah. uh, okay, so he, he can apply directly with the CGPA. Yes, yes, exactly. Sorry about okay. that. I think no, no problem, <laughs> no problem at all. Okay, uh, and what about the IS requirement? Um, us can be exempted. Usually, we accept us of six point five, and um, each module should be five point five. But okay. then um, we can exempt us if if the student have studied their bachelor's or their A levels in medium of instruction is in English, then they can submit English waiver certificate. Yeah, like uh, we it's called like uh, English proficiency letter. Exactly. exactly. Okay, so a student can provide that letter and uh, he doesn't need to provide IELTS. Is no. that the thing? Okay. Yes. Uh, same as the case for uh, intermediate students or it's only for the master students? Yeah, for intermediate, if they have to apply for UPP, I would advise them not to do IELTS. Um, instead, they should do their A A1 certificate, German certificate from, okay. from Gauteng. Yeah, uh, because so what is the advantage of that? The embassy would be asking for the A1 certificate, though we are not requiring that one, but the embassy will ask for A1 certificates. And if they have 80% of A1, 
um, they can avail more discount aside from 20% discount as a scholarship. So they still get more discount if they have A1 80%. Okay, uh, ma'am, uh, I have a question. Uh, uh, can you just tell us about uh, the scholarships? What kind of scholarship is uh, Gizma offering to the international students? Yes, the um, students? Yes, for Pakistani students, especially for the student or prospect consulting, we are providing 20% scholarship after 31st of May. But before 33rd, uh, sorry, 31st of May, they can avail 33% discount. So yeah, now they can avail 33% discount if they apply and pay the deposit of 1000 And after that, um, it's going to be only 20%. So yeah. So irregardless of your grades, it doesn't matter what is your grade, as long as you are a student of prospect consulting, you can get 20% scholarship. Okay. Uh, it is available to everyone? Yes. Like every student are, who apply? Okay. Yes, your student, yeah. And they will be getting it automatically when we like after getting the offer letter or do they have to apply for it separately? Um, yeah, they, we do a formality that they have to fill up a scholarship form. Mm -hmm. So yes, they just have to fill up the scholarship form, submit it to us. I approve okay. it, and they get twenty percent discount. Okay, okay. So like we have to request for the scholarship. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. That's but that will be granted. That will be granted automatically. It, that is okay. just like a formality of paperwork. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tell me something about the visa processing. What's the pro uh, procedure mm -hmm. of applying visa for uh, Germany? Yes, um, the visa, the visa process is actually not so complicated. Mm -hmm. uh, first, the student needs before they apply for any admission, the student must book their appointment already so that they can reserve a seat for their appointment. Then, the, um, after that, they will, the embassy will provide them an appointment. Okay. Um, they will provide them the appointment and they submit their visa file. The visa processing is usually will take almost like four to six weeks in, in Islamabad and in Karachi it will take almost like, um, yeah, maximum six weeks. Yes. Okay. Okay. And uh, what about the... Uh job of opportunities in germany like are the students allowed to work during their studies yes yes uh, germany is one of those places that is very welcoming to those who wanted to work and study at the same time um uh, there are a lot of job opportunities in our main campus in hannover as well as in berlin in hamburg it's not really that much because i think it's one of the places in where there are less industries situated there but um, in both cities, Hannover and, um, in, and Berlin, I think uh, I never heard any student complain to me within two months that they didn't find any job. Um, they always give me the news that they get a job and their salary is not less than 800 years per month. They are doing part-time job. So um, the work permit in Germany is different in comparison to other European countries where they can work for 20 hours per week. It's not like that in Germany. There are different um, work permission that is provided to the student. For example, um, uh, they are allowed to work like half day um, in 240 days in 10 months. So 240 days they can work half day. So half day means like six hours per day. And if they wanted to work full time, so they are allowed to work 120 days in 10 months. So for the last semester of, of Gizma, students are usually allowed to work full time. So our courses runs for three semester mostly, three to four semester. So uh, two semester will be focusing on coursework and the third and the last semester will be their dissertation or their research. So uh, students can work full time during their dissertation. Okay, okay, that's great. Okay. Uh, uh, Okay, ma'am, uh, there are some questions from the audience that I would like you to answer. Sure. Okay, and the first, uh, first question is that how much time does it take, uh, like how much time does an application takes to, uh, like an application process takes 
Well, we usually try to follow the time frame of seven days. Um, it depends to the students if they have the complete application because sometimes um, we are going back and forth when there is incomplete, but this is the one, this is the time frame that we have, it's usually seven days. Okay, so like, uh, it takes around like uh, a week? Yes, a week. Um, okay. Even during, during our summer intake, like our April, April and July intake, we usually process the admission within three days uh, be just because there are no bulk application coming in but uh, major intakes like january and and september intake so there are plenty of applications because all of our programs are being offered during those time so seven days is the maximum time as long as you submit the full application like every document that you need okay okay ma'am uh, i think uh, we have some questions from the audience I'll be showing you the questions on screen so you can answer them one by one. Sure. Oh, okay. Let me start with the first question. Uh, it's like, is there any fully funded scholarship available for Pakistani students? Um, at this month, they, if they wanted to do a direct program with us, uh, there's no fully funded scholarship on merit phase. Uh, however, we do have an existing a fully funded scholarship for existing students. So it means that you have to pay um, and arrive and get refunded if you will be um, nominated by your professors to get that scholarship. Usually we do have like three students every year to get a fully funded scholarship. Other than that, if you are a student, a Faisal Chaudhry, if you are a student that is interested to go for a tuition fee wave university, you can study UPP program with us for 40 for 48 weeks. And that is not free of course, but it's a minimum cost. It will cost you almost like um, more or less like 7,000 years after the scholarship. And then you can do your master's um, free of cost. Your tuition fee will be free from public university and we're gonna help you out. We are in partnership with TU Coastal, which is one of the most um, elite uh, polytechnic in Germany. Okay, okay, that's great. Yes. Okay, thank you uh, for answering this one. Okay. Uh, okay, my next question would be that uh, what are the scholarships available for master program in your in Gizma? Yes, the scholarship that we have is 20%. Um, that is in all program you can get yes. 20%. Yes. yes, as you told before that 20% scholarship is available to everyone. Yes. Yes, well, but, but we do have like the rectorship scholarship as well. Um, that is for our existing students. So once you arrive over there, you perform really very good during your first semester. Who knows? You will be nominated and get a fully funded scholarship. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We uh, can you just ask this question? Uh, somebody is asking that his wife is thirty years old and uh, she has done like uh, ma english and she's doing job as a teacher for the past five years so what would you suggest her to do in from your uh, university? yeah i i would suggest her to go um to apply for uh, strategic business management because this is usually a very generic program um everybody can apply for strategic business uh, regardless of what kind of profession you have been doing or what is your academic background. Um, mm -hmm. Why strategic business? Uh, as a teacher, maybe in the future, uh, she will be working as a principal of a school or she will be working in admin. So having a management skill is very important as well, even though um, she is a lecturer or, or she is an educationalist. Um, she can also open up her own business if, he, if she has a degree in strategic business. She will be learning those kind of management skills. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, okay. Uh, I have a question from you. Uh, yeah. Please answer it. Okay. And that is that how do you find working with Prospects Consulting as a partner? 
Yes, um, I'm actually quite honored to be uh, working with you guys. And I think that Prospect Consulting is one of the most prestigious consultants there in, in Pakistan. I'm quite proud to sign you up as one of our strategic partners here in Pakistan. Um, I know that all of your staff and your team are very much skilled and experienced to, to process the admission. I trust you so well, and I highly recommend as well to your audience to to go. Um, uh, you know, you know what? There, there is the mentality for Pakistan students that um, if there is a business developer or an admission officer based in that specific country, they would rather rather apply directly, um, which I usually discourage the student because. Like for us, we can give them advice. This is what we do. We give them advice. This is how we help them with the process. But what the consultant can do is that they can facilitate your cases. They can help you out with your with with everything, with the requirements, and um, even with writing with your SOP. They can teach you how to write, guide you very well how to prepare a proper SOP. Uh, because it's not only for the admission that the SOP is required. It's also required during visa application and most importantly is that consultants are very very skilled when it comes to processing a visa um, filing the visa application so i think yeah um prospect consultant is one of those that is really very expert an expert and an experienced team uh quite happy to work with you guys okay okay ma'am thank you so, so much yeah. for that uh, Okay, uh, moving on to the next question. Uh, Somebody is asking that I have done MBA insurance and risk management uh, like uh, 10 years ago. So is the study gap accept, accept, uh, acceptable in uh, Germany? Yes, yes, it's actually acceptable so far. Um, recently, I have recruited a student. Um, um, he joined the classes in January. He is a 15 six years old and uh, he works as a finance officer of one of the banks here commercial banks in Pakistan um, I don't know if you know about UBL so he works at the UBL he's 56 near to retired and he decided to go back in study and he got visa and uh, happening he was even sharing with me that when he applied for the visa he was only asked two questions by the visa officer because I think they give um you know that special respect to those uh, mature students who wanted to go back to school so 10 years of gap this is nothing I, I i think you are very much welcome to apply for our new master's program we have financial risk management as well and we have other programs that you can apply with um aside from from financial risk or strategic business we've got a huge you're okay, doing so this if somebody has like a study gap and uh, he or she has like some kind of job experience so there's no issue they can apply yes, yeah. yes of course yes of course because you have to justify it uh, yes, when you're going to apply for your visa you need to justify that why yes. are you returning back to school yeah. okay okay thank you okay uh, okay ma'am uh, somebody was asking about that uh, about his wife that she is like uh, it was a previous question that I asked. So that same person is asking that uh, can his uh, husband apply with her as well um, like with the spouse? Yes. yes, they can actually apply together or they can wait. Um, but for me, I would rather suggest the student that first the main student or the main applicant should be should be applying, get a visa, settle in Germany for three to six months and then the, the spouse can go after because uh you know what uh when you're going to apply with your spouse or with your dependents your application will be assessed as one so let's say if your spouse is not very good in interview it can influence your application mm -hmm. so uh, i know most of our students are really very good in english i never recruited for the last three years in pakistan i never recruited a student which are very very lame when it comes to english their communication skill is, is really very good. Uh, but then you cannot expect that all their spouses will be really very good in English because some are not even that highly educated and they just wanted to apply. So um, there is the risk um, attached to that. If you're going to apply directly, 
rather than applying directly, apply first. And then after three months, you get invited. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you mean that uh, husband and wife can, can't go together? Yes, yes, yes. They, they, they have just to show a good financial funding. Spouse yes. has to provide A1 certificate. Uh, this is the only requirement. And obviously, they must be really very good in English because they are both going to be interviewed. Okay, ma'am. Uh, one question. Uh, can you just uh, give us some information about the bank statement? Yes. Um, for, for public university, usually they're going to provide a block counter, right? So in private universities, it's the same. Um, you have to provide your block account, which is 10,000, around right about like 10,300 euros um, per individual. And then um, since we are a paying university, so embassy could ask for additional bank statement not block account okay first is block account. so you need to show two financial statement one is your block account which is ten thousand three hundred and then second would be your um financial statement of your sponsor um mm -hmm. it can be a running account showing your remaining tuition fee because they're going to ask you that um the deposit that we required for this month is two thousand euros so let's say if your fee is um 15,000 euros, you get scholarship of 20%, so it goes yes. down to 12,000. You pay the deposit of 2,000, so uh, embassy could ask you that who will pay the rest of 10,000. So um, it will be safe to show an additional bank statement. Okay, so uh, who should be the sponsor? Like, uh, it can be like only your mother or father or your relatives as well? Yeah, it's anybody. Even your employer can sponsor you, but you have to justify okay. that. Yeah. Okay. Anybody, your friend can sponsor you, uh, but you have to justify that why exactly your friend is going to sponsor you. Um, it's a common mentality in Pakistan, basically, that um, uh, it, it depends to the cases. If the student is a fresh graduate, so obviously I would recommend that the parent should be the sponsor. If the student is employed, so more or less he doesn't need a sponsor, so he can show his own bank statement. Or his parents, his uncle, his employer can sponsor him. So yeah, it's actually a free. It's, they they have an independence for that. Okay, great. Okay, okay, ma'am. Uh, next question is from. Let me show you the question. Okay, uh, this guy is asking that sometimes you get admission, but the embassy doesn't process the case in time. So what's the main reason about it? Yes, um, well, that is the, the, the problem that usually be faced not only in Pakistan. Um, it's actually global issues of all the German embassy is the lackness of appointment slots. So um, if it is not being processed on time, we have four intakes and there is only, uh, you know, like two to three months gap. So if, let's say you are enrolled for January intake and you get your you miss your January intake, you can always move for April intake. We can provide you a def deferred enrollment letter. Um, we can, we would, you can just forward that um, document, your deferred enrollment to the embassy that you have been shifted to the next intake. Yeah. And they don't need to pay extra for that. We are giving the deferred letter for your cost. Okay. Okay. That's very good. Okay, ma'am. Uh, I think uh, we have you have answered all our questions from the audience. Uh, okay, okay, ma'am. Uh, thank you very much for this uh, amazing session. It was uh, really very really, uh, you know informative, and you gave all the details about uh, Gizma Business School. Okay, uh, one last question that uh, I would like to uh, ask you. Uh, I have heard that uh, Gizma is uh, also working with other some other universities as well. Could you just tell us about those? Yes, uh, we do have partnership with some mm -hmm. business school. Uh, we have partnership with Grenoble Ecole de, Man uh, Grenoble Ecole de Management, which is a French business school, uh, triple accredited. We have programs which are triple accredited with them. Um, our, our MBA, Master's in International Business, Innovation Strategy, Entrepreneurship and Marketing Management are triple accredited. Um, we have a University of Law, we have Kingston University, we have collab programs with them. 
And lastly, we have TLG, which we're doing our university pathway program. We have our very own program in Hannover campus as well. Um, those uh, programs are usually taught in German. Um, so we don't market it much in Pakistan because it's a German taught program. Okay. Okay, great. And I also would like to, to add this thing that um, to apply for Gizmo, you don't need to, uh, to pay for your application fee. We don't have application, we waived that one. So um, yeah, everybody is welcome to, to apply. And plus, plus um, Gizmo Business School has a good uh, links in industry. So we are in partnership with, we are being financed by Faxwagen, uh, Siemens, Feinheiser, BMW, TUI, and Continental Group, and Borman Industries. So um, these are the companies that usually recruit students from us. Um, they, after completion of the studies, they work full time in these industries. Okay, okay. Uh, and one more thing, um, like if someone is applying for like in Gizma. So are they supposed to show any like German language certificate? Um, not for our UG and PG. Um, okay. we, we, do, we don't need that one because our courses are taught in English. Uh, but those who are applying for university pathway programs, they don't need to submit a German certificate to us, but the embassy will ask it. Um, German embassy in, in Islamabad in Karachi, they would ask for the for A1 certificate. So at least that you need to have a 64% of that. So yeah, it really helps you to get a visa if you have German certificate applying for UPP. But for UG and PG, again, I'll repeat, we don't need us, mm -hmm. we don't okay. need German certificate. Okay, and uh, my last question, uh, if somebody has done IELTS and uh, his like certificate has expired uh, around uh, like two, three months ago, so still, can they show that uh, result no. or no? No, no don't show it. Yeah, okay. um, what, what will happen is that if you're going to submit that to us, and then we're going to ask the student to repeat the IELTS. So we will not okay. exempt them from IELTS. Yeah, so, so it's okay. better not to. That, okay, yeah. so it's better that uh, they should provide the English proficiency letter or they should yes. uh, again do the IELTS exam. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Uh, thank you so, so very much for this amazing and informative uh, session today. And thank you for your time. Thank you very much, Sir Bob. It's wonderful to speak with you. And uh, thank you for the prospect consulting for giving us an opportunity to share and promote our business school with you guys. Um, uh, I'd like to welcome everybody and, and say thank you and um, advance Eid Mubarak to everyone. Maybe I will not be thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Take care. Thank you. You too. Bye Take bye. Care. Bye bye. Uh, okay, guys. So this was all about the Gizma Business School today. As Miss uh, Evie gave us a lot of information about the business school that is in uh, Germany. Okay, so we have almost answered every question that you have asked. But if still there some questions are left, though, uh, we will be answering them through the Facebook uh, uh, inbox, or we will be, uh, or through some other contacts like WhatsApp. Okay, so uh, if somebody interested in applying admission in any country like UK, Australia, Germany, you can always contact Prospects Consulting. Uh, we have this Facebook page. You can inbox us anytime and uh, there are some numbers available here you can always contact on these numbers uh, let me uh, share these details with you okay uh, we have a website that is uh, www.prospects.pk uh, our consultation is totally free of cost we don't charge anything because we are the uh, official representatives of the universities so we don't take any money from the students your all process from starting till the end will be totally free. So you don't have to worry about the money. Okay. Uh, and if you have any questions you have, do you want to apply or you want to take any kind of information, you can call on these numbers. These are the numbers for the Lahore. 
uh, we have these three numbers showing you on screen. So if anybody wants to contact us, they can contact here. And if somebody wants to apply it through Islamabad, these are the numbers on screen. You can apply it from here. Okay, so thank you so much for this uh, amazing session. And thank you for your time, everyone. So I think it's time to leave. So thank you very much and uh, have a great weekend. Thank you. Take care. Hello? Hello? Uh, sir, this video is not end yet. It will be asked to ask Ismail how to end it. Or you have to do it in the Leave Studio. Or you have to Hello?